Hey, this is Alan Sterrett over at EglucosamineForDogs.net. Today I'd like to talk to you about hypertrophic osteodystrophy, a.k.a. HOD. Hypertrophic osteodystrophy is a bone disease that usually affects young, rapidly growing large breed dogs. The disease has several names, including skeletal scurvy, molar Barlow's disease, osteodystrophy 2, and metaphysial osteopathy. The disease produces severe lameness and pain and usually affects multiple limbs. The cause of the disease is currently unknown. So who gets HOD? It's a disease of the young, rapidly growing dogs. It usually strikes puppies between the ages of 3 to 6 months. It's primarily a disease of large or giant breed dogs, although there can be exceptions to this rule. As with most of the young, large breed bone disorders, it affects males more commonly than females. There does not appear to be an increased incidence in any one large or giant breed, and there does not appear to be a strong inherited or genetic link. So what are the symptoms of HOD? Dogs that are stricken with hypertrophic osteodystrophy often show symptoms of mild to moderate painful swelling of the growth plates in the leg bones. It most commonly affects the ends of the radius and ulna, which are the long bones from the elbows to the wrists, and the tibia, which is the long bone from the knee to the hock. The dogs may show lameness and a reluctance to move. They may be lethargic and refuse to eat. A fever may come and go, rising as high as 106 degrees. The disease usually affects both legs at the same time, and the symptoms may wax and wane and resolve on their own, or if the fever is very high for long periods and the bony involvement severe, the dog may suffer permanent structural damage or even die. How is it diagnosed? It's diagnosed based on the history of the dog, symptoms that are exuding at the moment, a physical exam that shows pain and the swelling at the growth plates, and also with x-rays. So would you like to know more about what causes HOD and how it can be prevented? What are the common warning signs of HOD and what you need to know about your young dog? And more importantly, how to treat it naturally without painkillers and invasive treatments like surgery. Simply come over to www.eglucosamineforDogs.net, opt in, and we'll get you your free report on HOD. This is Alan Starrett. I want to thank you for your time and have a great day.